Hey guys, this is uh, AX here. Um, Yo, am I streaming? Y'all let me know if I'm streaming or not. Um, as y'all saw, I uh, moved this back to 8.30. But if you haven't read the description yet, I will be uh, working on my TAE switch. Um, I just got some parts in uh, from TEA. To replace the switch on or the clip on the back of it so let's go ahead and take that off my jerry rig all right so uh this was an e-switch I got. Um, basically, one of my friends bought it for me while he was down by Fort Benning. And it came without the clip. So, naturally, I, I, I need to get one. So, that's what we'll be doing today. Um... It's going to be a tricky job, it looks like. Let's see if we can get this off of here. Um, if y'all have any questions, just post up in the uh, live chat, and I'll try to answer them as I see them. So if I don't answer it or right away, I'm probably not looking. Let's see. I think I got a problem on the back side of this, so... See if we can get at it with the inside. Sounds like my wife downstairs stopped the TV so she could watch my loud video. In case you ever wondered what the inside of one of these looked like. Looks like it needs to be pushed back down. Here we go. Had to pop that back out. I want to put two screws in it and see.
try not to lose this clip. that I really have the right tool for this. About right, CFG. World Gear Police. It's about. You know, I probably should have sent this in to TEA. Now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, a little bit better view. There we go.
I know it's somewhere over here, so. Let's play find the clip. Who can find it first? Let me know if y'all see it. Had to be on the floor. That on. Let's put some. Swag money. Let that dry for a second.
As you can see, it's a pretty crusty old TEA PTT. Sweet. So is there any questions you guys have uh, about my kit? Um, I'll answer whatever y'all may y'all want to know, so. This is probably the most boring video y'all have ever watched of it. Hey Aiden, um, actually I do have a couple things for sale, um, I have this CAC uh, sling mount, it goes onto a, um, a crane stock, um, if I had one I'd show it to you, but basically you just sandwich it in between um, on the back of the stock and it gives you a QD uh, sling attachment point um, so it works on both sides you can switch it over made by CAC um, not sure how much I would sell it for maybe 20 25 bucks I don't know um, I've also got this um, Blue Force gear triple it's practically brand new Came off of a SF guy, I believe. Um, you can see it's been worn a couple times, so a little bit of wear marks on the inside. But um, as far as the exterior nylon, it looks pretty good. I don't see any, um, like, you know, rubbing or anything. You can still see the uh, manufacturing codes on the back and things. Um, Pretty nice shape. Um, I'm getting a really beat up uh, Cry JPC here, I think, in a couple weeks. Um, I don't, I don't know of it. What what condition it's in right now? It's pretty beat up, from what I'm told. Um, so let me look at it first, and I will let you know if you, if you can just message me on Facebook hey Jesse um, what kind of C4 are you talking about are you talking about explosive C4 This is such a beat up PTT. Okay. Swag. Also, Aiden, I don't know if you're interested. I bet I may as well just throw this out there too. I have a box of IR Kim lights. Um, if you want like multiples of them, just shoot me a PM. Um, 
I don't know how much they even go for. I don't even know if they're worth anything, but they look cool. Um, so just let me know. As you can see, I have about 30. Uh, so, yeah. You can see I'm taping one up right now. Uh, and then I have the used M18s. So they're inert, but they're cool little collector's items. I don't know if you're interested in that. That sounds good, uh, Aiden. Uh, if you have my personal account, you can DM me there too, but Facebook or Instagram works either way, so just let me know. Is there any questions y'all have on kit? Um, I have a ton of 330D stuff. So if you are looking to like build any type of kit, uh, I can give you, I can let you look at the stuff here and kind of, you know, see how it works. Um, I have a 330D Embitter, 330D M4, 330D Small GP, 330D IFAC, 330D Crydro. And then I have the crap that's all on my chest rig, so I've got all that as well. I've got a zip-on pack if you want to see that. Uh, all of the these pad pouches over here, kind of hard to see. Right there, I've got those, which is a large GP bottle pouch. Uh, this is a modded SR25, so. Just kind of let me know. I've also got uh, the real cry airframe. So if y'all want to take a look at that, I can pull it down. Of course, everything on it's real as well. So we can kind of look over some of the things that I have on it. Um, 
Also, I have a Mystery Ranch uh, 3DAP if y'all want to take a look at that. And I've got the uh, Mystery Ranch Stick It as well, the original one. Um, which is kind of neat. I'm kind of show y'all how I set that up on multi-hour ops and things like that. Uh, so yeah. And then I've also got like, well, I've got a few th other things like high caps and crap for sale. Um, if you're interested in Delta rings. Um, and I can also pull out my collection of like antennas and comms and crap. So if y'all have any questions about things like that, just let me know. We've also got the uh, LBT kit bag, so we can take a look at that. We can look at how I put all my stuff in it when I use it. If you have any questions on this carrier, uh, just let me know. Um, this is a tag custom carrier, so pretty neat setup as far as, um, you know, little Chesters come. I was talking with a friend, uh, um, who really wants this thing and he's trying to get whatever he can to take it off me. Um, hey, Adrian, I think... I do have some four inch. I only have two of them and they're broke. Are you interested in those? You can kind of see. Uh, compared with the six inch. Uh, and I might be able to get some more of those four inchers. Uh, I'll just have to check and see. Um, I know a place that uses them quite a bit, but I'd have to find a time to get out there to get them. So, as far as that's concerned, that's about all I have. And then I have what I use for my personal collection. All right, Aiden, I got you. No problem. Um, so I'll just, since I'm already online, um, I'll just go ahead and run over this stuff close up because I don't think I've ever done it for y'all before. Um, so basically, let me take this off. Basically what we have here, let's see, I'm going to rotate it more, is, um, this is my keg custom chest rig. Sorry, lighting's kind of horrible. Um, so we've got the 330D frag, a 330D M4, two of them actually, they're side by side. And it's got a 330D pistol on top, uh, sewn on to the flap. So it's pretty neat. Um, and then this flap has the tourniquet holder um, Paraclete embitter uh, with the side pistol pocket, well, which I'm using a fl put to, to put a flashlight in. Sorry about that. Um, and then it's just got like little nooks and crannies for like, uh, obviously I'm holding some scissors and a V light, Velcro everywhere, um, Molly clip thing, and then we've got um, this is an embitter two antenna 
So it's made by, I think, Thales. I'm pretty sure. It's a Thales antenna. It's kind of neat. I like it because uh, when I'm running this rig, since everything kind of like um, sits on my front, I can get my antenna up out of the way so it's not in my face. Um, and then I'm running the uh, TEA U94 quick detach on this kit as well. And the quick disconnect right here. Um, so that pretty much, that's a lot. That's not all of the features. That's 330D, 40 mic mic as well. Um, there's so much built into this thing. And I'm still trying to figure out like how to use it all. Um, like the little clips down here. We're thinking this is a to attach it to, to your uh, belt or your first line. Uh, to kind of keep it from pulling up when you're opening mag pouches and things. And then we've got the um, little elastic retention thing, which, you know, I'm not even entirely sure what all this is for. There's little grommets and stuff just, you know, hidden around and things. So it's a really unique carrier. And that's one thing I love about this. It's so so unique and so uh, quick and easy to use that it's quickly become my go-to. I've been using this for about a year and a half now instead of my CPC. Um, but moving on to my CPC, um, of course we have the TEA e-switch that I just fixed. Um, Y'all have seen the rundown of this before. Um, 330D embitter, small GP. Uh, zip on pack which I've had for forever and now they're becoming popular again um, this is the 330D Crydro the real one not the fake one green tip antenna uh, 330D IFAC D ring tourniquet and then the M4 pouch which is up front um, so that's pretty much a quick rundown of that uh, used this for forever. I've had this carrier for probably four or five years now. Um, and then moving up to the helmet, uh, it's pretty much the same except for the fact that I added the Hellstar 5. Um, I got rid of my Manta and replaced it. Uh, it was about time. And then it's got the SNS Low Pro or the MAX mount with the Surefire E1L, Anvis uh, mountain battery pack. Comtec 3s and OD. And then I've got a pair of Comtec 1s um, with this boom mic. That was a stupid purchase. Um, large GP, woo, large GP bottle pouch. Uh, modded SR25. This is really a neat pouch. This is the whore pouch of all of mine. Um, give me a second, I'll show you. Um, it's pretty neat. It's kind of like a fast mag, and I'm sure that's what they pulled this from. But, sorry. It holds an M4 mag. Almost, well, it holds it perfect. Uh, it makes it a great little fast mag to put on your first line. Uh, it's just a neat pouch all around. Uh, one of my favorites. Uh, one because it's so unique and one because it's so versatile. Uh, so, yeah. And then, of course, um, we've got the LVT bag down in the bottom. My Pelican, a couple of radios and things like that. Um, my Mystery Ranch bag. We'll pull that out. And let me hit the stand. If I can get it. Sorry about that. Um, so, uh, I've got the Mystery Ranch bag, 3DAP. Uh, I've got the Mystery Ranch stick it on it. 
which is an accessory that was optional. They're really hard to find now. So finding one of these is going to be very tough. I just happened to get lucky with a guy who had one and was looking to get rid of it. Uh, but when I'm carry when I use this bag, I usually use it with my chest rig when I'm going to local stuff. Uh, so I stuff my chest rig and everything that I need inside the bag. And then on the outside of the bag, I will carry my helmet and things like that. Um, it's, it makes it real nice when you're packing light like that. Because then everything's in one place and I don't have to lug around that big old bag. And then uh, opening it up. We've got a Sea to Summit dry bag or whatever. Nine liter. Uh, just to keep clothes in. Extra clothes. Um, knee pads and then just like little things there's a funnel in here for some reason uh, solar recharging light trash bag spoon spork thing feed uh, loader some tools you know just kind of like general accessories and things like that that you know come in handy when you need them uh, but this has been a great bag uh, original use was to use it for an op in Texas which got canceled for some reason um, it ended up taking it to Milson West for the first time uh, fortunately for me I didn't have to lug it around the whole event so it's pretty nice uh, but it's a really nice bag and it makes you know packing and getting out of places very easy um moving on we'll kind of go over uh the guns kind of changed just a tad um so obviously i've got the um i've got my receiver seracoded in uh this is called the dark burton bronze and I'll go ahead and give a business plug right now uh, for LTS Tacti Tactical. They're out of Florida. Uh, they're the ones who seracoded the gun. They seracoded the receiver, uh, upper and lower, the buffer tube, all of the uh, pins and things uh, were done in black. Uh, but they did a very nice job. I'm very happy with it. Um, all the furniture has been replaced on this gun. So we've got an LMT grip. Magpul CTR, uh, CAC uh, BUIS, Replica EXPS 2 by Hurricane. So that's what that looks like if you're looking for one. It's Unfortunately, I don't really like this color. It's very dark. It's real close to my burnt bronze on the hood. And the, uh, the body of it is actually like a caramel color compared to like, you know, the FDE of my pack. Uh, Hal Geisel Rail, uh, FMA LA5, uh, there's a Surefire M600 on this side, get that out of the way, Surefire M600, and then, um, I have got the Surefire BFA and this acts as a really good just like a it's a blank fire adapter but it acts as a good barrel cover and then I'm putting it on a HAL Surefire SFCT so uh if you're curious yes this is a real Surefire BFA and it fits on a replica mount or a replica flash hogger so very nice stuff that Hal's put out um, and then I've got the CQD sling mount and then um, quick detach on the other side uh, and that kind of sums that up I'm gonna check comments real quick and if there are not any other questions that I can answer then I'll go ahead and wrap this up um, Hopefully I can do a more or a better gear video, maybe uh, actually, you know, 
with my kit on or something. And uh, we'll see. We'll just have to see how it goes. Um, let's see. Grossest sound I've ever heard. Probably your comment on Facebook. Uh, let's see. So, if y'all... Oh, well, let me pull out. I've got some antennas and crap. Let's pull those out. Let's go into the combo drawer. This is the combo drawer right here. Uh, if that's not a combo. Um, so, antennas. I've got a multitude of antennas. I've got 10 antennas. Um, so I, I have my Bell's Embitter 2 antenna, I have a Larson VHF green tip, I have this Larson look-alike antenna, I don't even know what the thing is, um, I got this a long time ago, so, if anybody can identify it, that'd be great, because I'm not sure what it is, I'm believing it's made by Larson, it's kind of the same look but it's probably not um i've got let's see this is a general dynamics uh just a broadband antenna 225 megahertz 450 megahertz um what is this this is another broadband this is just a generic one i think it comes with the toy soldier radios uh, 90 to 512 megahertz. This one is a fails, I think. Fails broadband. Let's see, another fails whip antenna or blade. A Harris blade. Let's see, 30 megahertz to 108 megahertz. Uh, a Shakespeare man pack antenna, 30 to 512 megahertz, and then a Shelton limited antenna. And I don't know what that frequency is on that. I've got several ICOM radios, got two of them actually. Um, I've got this replica U94, this uh, Nexus U94. Um, that's for the, um, Peltors. A Saber, a regular, is this a Saber 2? I think this is a Motorola Saber 2. So I got one of those two. Just for fun. But anyway, if y'all don't have any more questions, let me check. Yep, I don't have any more, so I'll go ahead and sign off from here. Uh, thank y'all for joining and uh, asking questions, kind of just listening to me ramble on. Um, if y'all have any kit questions, just let me know and I'll try to answer them. Uh, you can answer them in the comments after the video's over. Or you can PM me either on Instagram or Facebook or just comment on one of my photos. I'll try to get it answered. Anyway, y'all have a good night and I'll see y'all later.